Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a Hot Point Aquarius tumble dryer. It's a condensing dryer, CTD, double zero, reverse action tumble dryer. It's missing this bit off the front here, but apart from that, it works perfectly. Something that's very important to do on these tumble dryers, and we've seen a lot of news about tumble dryers recently, and safety. Something that's important to do is to check the filter regularly, and that's in here. And that's easy to do, you just pull it out, and this one hasn't been done recently, but just grab all this fluff, and there really shouldn't be this much in there. Just grab it, take it away. There should only be a layer about that thick. You just peel it off with your finger. Sometimes another bit of fluff helps to get it off. And if it's this dirty, you could apply a vacuum cleaner to it, or give it a rinse under the tap. In fact, I might do that. I might give it a wash because there's a bit of crud in the bottom there and that won't help. And it should never really get this bad. You see all this fluff in here? That won't help either. Just get a vacuum cleaner on that and try and suck it all out. So there's, there's the instructions for cleaning this filter here. So every time you take the basket out, take out the filter that I've just done and clean it. And take out the water drawer on the top and empty it. So that's up here, just take that out, it's empty, so you can pour it into the sink. But over here, it shows a calendar, and it shows once a month what you ought to do, is open this door here, and in here is the condenser unit, and these tabs are all open already, so they should be like that, and so what you do is you just open them, and it'll only go in one way, because it's got three locks on it, and there's an arrow to show you which way is up, and you can see in here, Pretty dirty, all right. Squeeze that camera in there. But there is a passageway through all of those aluminium plates to let air move. So this one isn't so bad. I posted a video a couple of years ago of cleaning one of these and it was completely clogged and the person who owned it thought it was broken, but it wasn't broken at all. It just wasn't clean. So you pull that out like that. And you look at it and you think, yeah, it's, it's clean this way. So I give that a wash. It's pretty clean on the back there, that's not so bad. Up here in the front, it'll take a bit of cleaning for that, and because it's been left go for a while, it'll need quite a bit. So what I'll do is get a screwdriver, Phillips head, Let's separate out this bit. Appears to be just spinning. Let's try this side. That one feels like it's coming out properly. Yeah. They're only very, very short screws. As you can see, so it wouldn't be hard to misthread them or to strip the threads on the plastic. So we need to get that off somehow. Let's try it with a Metal cutters, the wire cutters. There it is, and you can see it's just the plastic's all it's full of hair on the one instance, but it's also all just tangled up there. So then this might then clip out. It's pretty tight in there. Better get a hammer on it, I think. two hands free, but I don't. It's got little plastic tabs that kind of force, their, force it together. That's it. You maybe don't need to hammer it. Um, you might just be able to pull it apart, but once you've got it apart, that's easy clean. Just give that a rinse under the tap. With a bit of a brush, maybe. This bit here. Oh, there's a few bits in here now. Got some some fluff in there, obviously, but you've also got a bit of hair, some little sticks, and a thing from a shirt collar. 
there. But this will clean up all right. This isn't too hard. This isn't too hard to do at all. And then once you've got it done, we'll replace it back in the machine. Careful here because these can be delicate. Bearing in mind, you never have to do this really. It's only when someone lets it get really bad. So then reassembly, just offer this up. Snap it in place. Not too hard because you don't want to crunch the aluminium below. So we'll put our screws back in. These don't do very much, so you don't, you don't really need to worry too much about them. More just to stop it falling asunder. If you do yank on it a bit too hard or if it gets stuck, you're just giving it a bit of a purchase. Okay, it's back in. This is wet, but I don't think it matters because the water drains down to the bottom anyway and it's meant to have water condensing on it. So let's slide that back in. I've given it a bit of a wipe as well. we get stuck on. That's it. A bit of a wipe, I say. I've cleaned some of it, but not all of it by any means. And then this filter here, well, before you use it, I would let this dry out completely. But I think what I'll do is I'll vacuum out in here as well before I try using this machine. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this machine yet. I think I'd vacuum all this in here out. I think I'd vacuum all this in here out completely before I use this machine, so we'll see. I'll put that back in there, and that's what it would be, but, uh, well, I'll let it dry out first in the fresh air. It's a lot cleaner than it was, and it'll work a lot better, but you really want to get all those holes clear as well, so a vacuum cleaner would do that. So that's how you could do it. It's cleaner than it was. It's not spotless yet. If I was going to use this myself, I'd get it spotless. Or if I was going to sell it, I would get it spotless. I'm not sure that I'm going to do either of those things, so I'm not going to do anything with it yet, other than demonstrate to you how to do it. So that's a bit of a general cleanup. It should make your tumble dryer, condenser tumble dryer that is, a little bit more efficient. Okay. Thanks for watching, see you later.